And now, except for listeners in Scotland who get to enjoy another episode of popular sitcom All Tonic Cakes Great and Small, it's time for another exciting adventure with Dr. Wahezel. With only his charm and Vic Goose for companionship, Dr. Wahezel spins across the cosmos in his time and space capsule, the Weasdis, seeking out tyranny and oppression throughout the cosmos, and rarely doing anything practical about it. This week, Dr. Wahezel and the Impossible Dustbins of Doom, Episode 1. So why have you brought me this time, eh? Some far-flung locale, perhaps, where beautiful, intelligent and carefree ladies spend the time waiting to engage in stimulating conversation with an intriguing, exotic traveller. Unless you're into women in hard hats carrying blasting caps, I think you're in luck, Doctor. It looks to me like another flipping quarry. Oh, Grublox. I can't seem to catch a break, Advic. Honestly, this is the third flipping quarry this week. I don't know why you bother counting, Doctor. This hunk of wooden junk... Wouldn't take us anywhere exciting or thrilling if my life depended on it. Now oh well, now we're here. Let's stretch the old legs, then. Take the lie of the land. See what fame and adventure might await us in this exotic windswept, even cursed mining operation. Honestly, just once, could you rein the flipping cynicism in? Some people would give their hind legs to travel amongst the countless stars, throughout the universe, and meet the greatest figures in history. Greatest figures in history? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that Arthur Scargill wasn't a charming dinner companion, but you have to offer the all usual sonic screwdriver or Margaret Thatcher. He called her the Iron Lady. Sounds like some kind of Cyberman if you ask me. She was the Prime Minister of Britain. You could have disrupted the whole of time and space. Hang on, why are they telling you this? You're the Time Weasel. Don't your people explicitly forbid this sort of historical interference? Well, opinions divided. Uh, they all say meddling with human history could well cause the end of reality as we know it. I say, what the heck? So long as no one notices, it's all just a bit of a laugh, right? Oh, my stars. Hey, Rod, the time weasel, they're all trapped in their shed of Rasputin, or, or something like that, after that great war of theirs. You're not sure? Well, someone did try to explain it to me once, but I wasn't talking, so I stopped listening. That's not terribly polite of you. Look, stop being such a killjoy, Advic. Follow me down towards those buildings over there. Who knows? Wild adventure might await. I'd settle for mild tea and a few biscuits. Well, I'd settle for a less passive and aggressive travelling companion, but you play the cards you dealt, mate. As Advic and Dr. Wahezel came closer to the buildings, they could clearly see they were of an alien construction, unlike any they'd ever seen before, and in no way resembled the old Battersea power station with a very bit of cheap colour separation overlay thrown in. Look, Dr. Wahezel, the buildings are totally spherical, smooth and silver. There aren't any even any windows or doors. Do you think they're man-made? Do I think that? Seriously? Yeah, 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 right, Alvik. They're clearly some kind of natural formation. Uh, probably caused by pyroclastic flow or something. Uh, yes, yes, I I'm sorry I saw something just like them on Colour Bankers 5 once. You're making that up, aren't you? You haven't got a flipping clue. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, if only there was some way we could communicate with whoever had built them. Maybe you'll sort of screw... Stop be vital, Zadvik. You're dead right. Silly old time weasel that I am. Thank you, I'm glad I could help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there? And more importantly, can I come in and teach you more about the earth thing we call kissing? Kissing? kissing. No, I guess no one's home. So right all. back to the weasleys for tea and crumpet. Well, that does sound welcoming. Doctor, let's run for it. Ah, uh, sorry old chum, we can't do that. At least not yet. Well, the heck not, you earn an excuse for an explorer. Because this is only episode one. We uh, don't start running around pointlessly to fill in time till at least episode two. What horrors await for Dr. Wahezel and Advic within the mysterious Silver City? Do satin-skinned lovelies await their pleasure? Or does an elder horror of before the dawn of time lurk in the steaming mists? The first one! The first one! Find out next time in Dr. Wahezel and the Impossible Dustbins of Doom, part two! Dr. Weasel is a Weasel Tele Audio Enterprises production featuring Randolph Weaseling as Dr. Weasel, Coonton Goose as Adrian Goose.